Thanks for checking out this drill of the week. My name is Garrett Van Bergen. I coach the boys high school hockey team in Delano. The drill we're looking at today is called three on three backdoor shooter. Uh, it's a drill that is uh, designed, a small area game that's designed to increase uh, students' uh, communication, anticipation, puck support, and uh, playmaking and, and working on scoring opportunities. Uh, for the basic setup, you will see that the blue team has players uh, right here set up and then two players inside the zone as well as they will have one player inside the blue circle. Um, the red team is the exact opposite while having their third player inside the red circle right here. To set up the drill, uh, draw with your ice marker a line right up the middle of the ice, often called the Royal Road, in this case a green line right there, and then Create with your ice marker the circle right here for this backdoor shooter and the circle right here for this backdoor shooter. The basic idea of this drill is to always create a backdoor play to your teammate who's on the opposite side of the ice. So the red team always has to pass from this side of the ice over to their backdoor shooter. This is great for goaltenders because it's going to allow them um, and push them to go post to post and make those saves as the puck does transition from one side of the ice to the other and really allows them to work on their depth um, and reading the puck off that shooter stick as they are in, in motion. For the players, it really does a number of things. We want to really focus on being the first team to put, touch the puck. So anytime it's a loose puck, we want to have that first puck touch. It works on support, communication, anticipation, and then what we call a green pass, which is uh, the puck moving over the green line uh, to create that best scoring opportunity. So uh, the way it's set up here, let's just pretend that the puck is in this corner and the blue team gets it, all right? They are going to be working to create a pass across over to this side. But if we're back with the puck on this side and the red team gets it, they're going to have to work that puck to the opposite side of the ice and create an opportunity to push that puck back to their backdoor shooter. One of the most common questions we ask is, or players ask is, can we defend the player inside the circle? Um, can we stand next to him? Um, and the answer is no. A lot of times we'll let it play out until we see it happen, and then we'll just address the group and say, you know, our goal, our focus here is we want to be working on support and passing and making that play across and letting this player take the first shot every time. And so um, as far as it goes for the drill, we don't want to have somebody standing next to this person. It just isn't working on the skills that are there. So again, imagine the red team gets the puck here. They're going to have to move that puck. So that first player getting first the puck and then moving uh, his or her feet is really important to create that maintained possession. And then their teammate is going to need to work to create opportunities to get to the other side of the ice. Most commonly, we see a pass that's made back here. And so the player without the puck, likely the one farther away, needs to come and support and communicate and recognize that this pass is going to be open. If they come and stand right here, well, the blue team is going to be probably clogging up that area and really, the red player is not going to have much of an opportunity because he or she is still going to have to move to this side of the line before they pass it back across. So what ends up happening when this game really starts to get moving and kids are getting creative is we see a, a puck here, we see quick communication, and that puck is picked up by their supporting player here. This player, instead of standing still, quickly vacates, and we see a pass up to here, and now we're seeing a great pass back across. So we're working to support, make passes away from pressure, um, and then creating that opportunity to take a backdoor play because uh, that is, of course, a great opportunity to score. Um, really want to encourage you, when you if you use this drill, um, to let it play out just a little bit on its own, but then stop the drill and start talking about how a player without the puck can support to create that passing opportunity. We think that really, really is valuable. Uh, one other thing I will add here, too, is that the blue team and the coach, the pucks, and the red team, if you're running out of space, just go ahead and slide inside the zone. Or if your practice is set up where you don't have the entire zone, that's fine. But keep the backdoor shooters and the one goaltender in these locations. Lastly, we've really found that running this drill three on three with two players out and about and a player inside of each circle is really the best way to go. And the reason why We've tried it with one more player going four on four. What happens is when we get three players on a team in this area, we find that it becomes too easy to make a pass and too easy for our support players to be stationary. By only having two, there's really nowhere to hide. You really have to support your partner 
um, and make sure that he or she is not doing all the work by, by themselves. So I uh, really would encourage you to run it in this fashion. And then two, if you're a little bit low on uh, skaters because of the way your groupings are set up, this backdoor shooter really only shoots. So on the whistle, when the next group goes, uh, this backdoor shooter can jump in and one of these players could come into the circle and become the backdoor shooter. Even if they're a little bit tired, uh, that's not a problem. So you can run this drill um, in that way. So again, just to recap, we're really working on making passes across the green line for scoring opportunities, but learning about support and anticipation to create that pass across. Most likely, the pass to the backdoor shooter, the goal scoring pass, is not going to be your first pass. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great season.